Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do something Mario themed. You probably already know because of the title. But my plan is to make a piranha plant. To start with, before we get into the clay, I'm going to paint this little terracotta terracotta pot that I got from the Dollar Tree. Now, when you get these at the Dollar Tree, there are three to a pack. So you get three of these pots for a dollar, which is a good deal. what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of this black maybe that much and then some brown a little bit more brown okay and I'm gonna mix the black and brown together a dark brown clay and there we go Okay, now the next step is I'm going to roll it into a ball whoop, <laughs> and then flatten it. Pick it up, fit it to my pot. I'm going to have to roll it a little bit, just a little to get it to fit in the pot. Okay, pick it up, test your size. And the paint's already dry, <laughs> surprisingly. But anyway, just a little bit more, not a lot, and go different directions so you don't get uneven roll. And I think that about does it. It needs to come out on this side. Okay. I'm gonna test it one more time. Test it as many times as you have to, but you see how it, it fits in there and it can be taken out too. Okay. So now we got this part done. I'm gonna get some wire. So I have my wire here. Now this is 18 gauge or 60, I think it's 16. It might be 16, but this is uh, galvanized steel. Is try and freehand this. Sorry, I should have it. Okay, and I want the center wire to come up towards the middle, like so. Okay, and then I'm just gonna press it in to my clay once I get it kind of flattened out. I want to get it as flat as possible. Okay, I'm just gonna press it into the clay and then press the clay over the wire. Okay. Now we'll pick it up. And make sure it still fits. Yep, it still fits. But there we go. Now we're ready with our wire and our base. Now, I'm not gonna be too particular about the shape of the wire. It can stay like this, because I think it, it adds character to it. Now, I have some green scrap clay here that I'm gonna mix with my lime green that I have here. up, roll this out, and do this with the roller. Okay, and I'm going to try and wrap this around. <coughs> I'm doing a spiral. Do 
to make it easier on me to get full coverage. Okay, then I'm going to break off the end. Okay, and then I'm going to squish my clay and shape it to the way I want it. Then rub it with your fingers to blend in the creases if you don't want the creases. Totally up to you. And I'm going to blend some of them out, but leave some. And there's that part. Now, I'm going to take this piece here and break it in half. And I'm going to make a ball. Alright, roll into a ball and then press it out to make like a flat circle. Okay, and then add that to the top here. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle, but shape it around... to kind of give your plant a base underneath. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna flatten this just a little bit. Not a lot, we want it to have some thickness to make it sturdy. And then we're gonna cut out the shape of the leaf with the X-Acto blade. You can make it any shape you want. I'm not trying to be too particular about the shape. Okay. You can smooth out your edges with your finger or anything else. <laughs> um, but that's a good enough leaf for me. Same thing with this piece. We're going to flatten it out. Not too flat. And keep it thick. And then cut out our leaf. I'm going to try going this way. Oh, that's a lot easier. <laughs> look at that. I made it look so difficult the first time. Okay, this one's a little smaller, which this is fine. And now I'm going to take and flatten this piece right here to add it to our plant. Like so. And then you can bend it out in the shape you want. I'm just going to make sure it's blended down here. And then bend it just a little bit. And the same thing with this one. And then we're just going to squeeze the bottom. Not a lot, just enough to get a good contact. And we're going to make this one come up higher than the other one. And just kind of press it in to your your little structure here. And there we go. And then we're gonna press on the leaf and then let it come out like that. I'm gonna blend my edges with my finger, just ever so gently rubbing them. Once you got your edges blended and your leaves the way you want them. You can come in, I'm going to use this, which has a magnet attached to it. Um, I'm going to use my, my awl and make the lines for the leaf. Just come straight down the middle and have a few coming off the sides like that. Maybe one more right there. Okay, let me zoom in on this one so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm holding my finger under the leaf. I'm starting back here, and I'm going to pull back and wipe off the excess so you don't get backed up. But just pull back, and then I'm going to go one here, one here. Wipe off your excess. One here and one here. We got a little piece here. Let me just flatten that out. There we go. And there's our leaf. Okay, before we get into the red of the piranha plant, I want to get 
this cleaned off <laughs> for one because the brown seems to be getting everywhere. <laughs> I'm going to take a little washcloth and dry the dry my surface off. Now, with this white, I want to get my spots out that I'm going to put on the red when we're done. Now maybe that will cut down on the red we're going to get everywhere. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to take a chunk of red <laughs> and condition it. You have to condition your clay. Okay, so I'm going to roll it out in a ball like so. And then I'm going to cut it almost in half, like this, almost in half. And then I'm going to take my big baller tool and create the inside of the plant. And this should make it bigger. relatively speaking just let it sit in the palm of your hand and then push in with the baller tool that is my plan <laughs> hopefully it works and it looks like it's getting bigger already okay see how much bigger that is After all that work, we have a shape like this. And what I'm going to do from here is place it on here. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take some bacon bond too, and that'll help, and add it to the top of our green thing here. Our stem green thing. <laughs> We have our bacon bond up here. Now we're just going to place it down and kind of press in just a little. Okay, there's that. Now I'm going to take some of this pink and make a, make a ball. And you can see right into it. <laughs> make a ball, press down, and this would be like the inside of the mouth. So I'm going to hold underneath and get right on top of where that stick comes up and press down until I feel the stick poke me just a little bit. And that will give us a base of our piranha plant. And I'm getting some bacon bond on me which is fine. I gotta wipe, um, I'm gonna wipe the red off my fingers with the wipe. The best you can, please. Look at that. Look at how much red. If you don't think a wipe would do it, go get some soap and wash them. <laughs> That's all I could tell you. Alright, now for the mouth part. I want the middle to be thicker than the outside. So I'm going to do this. Let's see if it fits. I might have to go just a little further. Okay, I'm going to start from here. Okay, just checking. Roll it out just a little bit more on this side. Okay, 
I'll just go around the outside edge and press the two together like so and be careful because it's not baked yet so it's not as strong as it should be okay there's that okay now that's on there we're going to do the second one and I'm going to wipe my hands again because I touched some of the red and it's spreading like the plague <laughs> yay baby wipes all right so we got that off I'm wiping my hands on my shirt. Now we gotta spread this out on the edges. Okay. Now I'm gonna place it on the outside edge again. Okay and just squeeze the two together make sure it's on the edge of the red there's that part and <laughs> now since I wiped the red clay on my face <laughs> I'm going to wipe my hands off again Now we're gonna add our teeth. I'm gonna take a piece here and do a little cone shape. Sharpen the tip, let me show you. A little cone shape, just roll it between your fingers and then flatten the bottom. And then you can flatten it like that. And there's your tooth. Okay, there are our teeth in, our piranha plant, <laughs> super cute. Now it turns out I used my dot white for my teeth here, so I'm going to have to cut out some more white for our spots. Now it looks like in order to keep this a clean process, you're gonna have to wipe your hands in between because you're gonna have to be touching the red. Okay, now that all my spots are on, I want to straighten out my teeth. I'm going to pick it up and show you guys. There we go. We have our spots, our teeth, and our mouth area. Our leaves are looking nice. Now, I'm going to clean it up a little bit before I bake it with a Q-tip and some alcohol. Alrighty guys, 
after doing some finishing touches and baking it, here it is. The piranha plant. It is so cool. And I'm going to glue it into this pot so it doesn't come out. But I filled it with um, aluminum foil so it wouldn't be too heavy. And there it is. All nice, done, and dusted. But thank you guys for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And I hope we get to make more crazy stuff like this in the future. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys next time. Bye.